finished our first part of our van build, mm -hmm. which was um, stripping everything out, taking out the airbags, and doing the insulation. So now we're on the second part, and we get to do all the fun stuff now. We'll see how fun it is, I guess. But yeah, uh, it's it's super cool to be at the part where we're seeing like the positive changes in the van now. So yeah, we got the fan in. Um, we got you know, our floors in, not the finished floor necessarily, but uh, we're on to the, yeah, I, I guess you could call it the fun stuff now. So it is the fun stuff. We're going to build, uh, we're going to get part of our walls in, um, hopefully tonight yet, and at least get a good jump on getting the uh, bed frame built. So It's been a very good and productive day today. Very productive day, despite being about 10 degrees all day, very cold out. Very um, chilly. Very chilly, but we... Uh, we got a lot, a lot done, so. Yeah. Let's finish it up. All right. So this is our bench seat. Part of it. Part of it. Um, I've got the front panels right there, and I've got the top over there. That's the actual seat part for the bench. Um, but it's hollow, and we'll have a hinged top and front panels because that's where our toilet's gonna go. Yeah. So. And we're painting it Greek siren. Greek siren. So it's gonna go over here against the wall. We gotta get the actual wall up still, but. Um, but this is it. So this is the first part of the bench. Um, just to the left of it is going to be more bench, but it's going to be um, totally open underneath. That's going to be our little um, whiskey area, and I don't mean the alcohol. Um, means our dog. I mean our future dog that we don't have yet. But we already picked out a name for him. <laughs> we, we already got a name. We already have a spot in the van for him. So we'll get this in. The next step is going to be the, like I said, the rest of the bench seat. And all right, well, since Dan messed up the video from his work yesterday, <sighs> yeah, do you want to kind of like just stand on the edge and show them? Yeah, the I panels? can do that. I did, I got up on the ladder yesterday and actually showed you what I did. Um, but he I, held the foam the wrong way. I held the foam the wrong way, so maybe I can pop up here. Amateur. So we've got some solar panels on the roof. Um, we got four of them up there. They're mounted beautifully, and uh, they're looking good. Uh, we got a good idea about the rest of the electrical stuff, so we got to finish the ceiling in there yet, and um, get everything all wired up. But it, we pretty much got what we need. I need to get some some four gauge wire and some other hey, stuff. But if you had to guess what day we're on, <laughs> what day do you think we're on? Oh. What actual work day? Or oh yeah, you got some on your pants. What actual work day or yeah, like? Work day of the van. I have no idea. 
must come. Yeah. <laughs> but we started back in January, so we're working on our six months. So it'll be six months. Yeah, but it was like late January, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Five months. Five months. Working. It's getting there. We're almost there. And we thought we'd be done in two. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? Just finished um, putting our power, getting our power all set up in the van. Not all set up, but um, I've had the solar panels up on the roof for about a week and now they're actually connected to something. So uh, they are charging the battery. The battery's in here for a little while, had, had them mounted in. Um, so now they're, they're connected. Um, they're connected to our charge controller. Our solar cables are running into the van. And down they will be hidden it's not going to look this terrible um once it's all done but so it runs to the charge controller and uh, you can see we got a little um screen here it shows that the power is actually running into the batteries from the solar panels and um, i've got the power running from the batteries to the inverter already so that's actually working you can see that's on got my phone charger on there. We've got an extension cord running right now just temporarily to run our lights that we've got here. So um, one thing I will mention real quick about the inverter, I didn't realize until today we bought an inverter that you cannot actually um, hardwire cable to it. It's just got three outlets. We've got two of them plugged in right now. And there's one extra. That's it. There's there's no way to actually um, connect like a Romex to it and then run it to an outlet, and that's that's what we intended to do. I, we had the Romex running um, through our little PVC um, conduit cable runner, whatever, through the ceiling. So basically, what we're gonna have to do now is just get an extension cord, run that off the inverter. I'll still run it over the ceiling, and then we'll probably put like a power strip over on the other side so we'll have power over here where our kitchen's gonna be um so yeah we got everything in or, or the main stuff here what i did you can see the beds just kind of flipped up right now and so we're underneath there i mounted a panel um to the bed frame and i've got our charge controller mounted to it this part here is um our outlet for our fridge once i have that running so the only thing that's missing here is i'm gonna mount our um, fuse block um, to run all of our our uh, 12 volt stuff off of so our the fridge um, the vent fan the we're probably gonna have another ceiling mounted fan in here at some point that's gonna be a 12 volt maybe one or two other things so that's all gonna run off the fuse block and um, and then we'll be able to run everything else in here so that's where we're at I'm very happy very pleased with uh, how it all went it really wasn't that bad once I kind of understood what was going on, how how the power was supposed to run through everything, and I had everything here, so I did have to make like three trips to the hardware store today, but that's how these things go. So uh, hopefully next time we uh, see you, Brian will be here too, and uh, the video will be a little bit better. So thanks for watching. going really really easily if, if you guys are looking you know at your own project and figuring out flooring options this stuff is great I just scored it you know as far as cutting I scored a couple times and it snaps very easily um, you just peel the backing off and stick it down so our, our first couple pieces we did have a little mishap there's a teeny bit of a gap but it's gonna be under the bench so you won't see it and everything else has gone together quite seamlessly so What's up guys, um, wanted to shoot a quick little video here, show you, we got our first bit of kind of window frame in, um, wanted to show you how I did it before I put any wall up and covered any of the stuff up, so um, just going to warn you right now, it is not professional by any means, but I did the best I could, so here it is. Um, <clears throat> so looks pretty decent, first thing I'll say is, again, with this being a passenger van, obviously there are the windows already in here that we had to frame out and they're not square or rectangle by any means <laughs> um, 
obviously you can see the corners are rounded out. I'm not going to take the time to try to do that with the window frame. Um, so we're just going to work with what we got here. My thought is, you know, we can maybe do something with the corner there, but when the curtains are in here and they're kind of bunched up in the side, you're not going to be able to see that anyways. So, um, what I did is I basically put a couple blocks, I cut them at an angle so that they would match the angle of the metal part of the, the van wall. <clears throat> and then I just used a couple brackets there to put them in place. And then I figured out I cut our boards to go around the window as best we could. And um, again, just used a couple little corner braces there to attach them on there. And then down here, I got a tip from um, a guy I work with who's a carpenter for a long time. He said, you kind of got to go with uh, a stud system like you would in a house. Um, so basically, I took off the piece of insulation we had here. I cut spaces for the uh, for the studs to go. I, I attached them with a couple screws there to the wall. Now I, we can still put our insulation in here, just, essentially just like you would in a house. Um, <clears throat> So I have those, and then the frame just kind of rests on that, and again, just used a couple corner braces um, on those to attach that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some wall pieces here. Um, it's just some quarter inch uh, plywood, flexible, easy to work with, easy to cut. Um, actually, you can see here. Don't tell Brianna, um, I had a little mishap. My boards were a little too deep. I ripped them down to, I think, five inches, and I had to cut them down a little further and tried to do it with my jigsaw while they were still on the wall and um, didn't go so well. So we're gonna fill that in with some uh, wood putty and hopefully you won't notice it. Um, once the wood putty's in there and we stain it, uh, it'll add character, just like Brian and I always say with everything else in the van. So um, we are not professionals. We are just doing the best we can, so. Um, you're gonna run into little things like that, I suppose, <clears throat> if you don't know what you're doing. So, um, but that's where we're at. So we got the first window frame in. The back ones are gonna be a little tougher um, because it does uh, go into the bed area. So I can't have that same kind of frame all the way around necessarily. Um, but we're gonna do what we can. Here's Brianna's side. Um, so, and, and there's also a, a break in between the two windows there on both sides so um, we'll do what we can with that but we got our first window frame in and pretty happy with how it turned out so we'll uh, we'll keep bringing you along for the journey and show you what we do next so we've got some new things in the van um, we have our vent fan going we have another fan over in the corner a two little well, two-speed guy we're gonna create some airflow in here um, our fridge is running. I'm sitting on the fridge right now. Yeah, show you that. Look at that. Look at all the fun things we got going on under here. We can get a better look at it now, though, because the mattress is not in here. Because I had to take that out because we also have our windows tinted now. The windows were tinted this morning. I don't know if you can really tell in the video looking at the windows, but it definitely mm. looks different on the outside <laughs> for sure. I think it's definitely deflecting some... Uh, light right now. It's not a, not as bright in here as it would have been before. I mean they were the windows were like clear clear Like a fishbowl. Yeah, well you get to see straight through this van. So it's definitely a lot better now We did we got a 15 5 was the darkest you go. That's a limo 10. We went right above that with the 15 So so all the electrical stuff is done in the van except for plugging in our pump for our sink Yeah, we got to plug that in and we'll have a couple because again, I messed up and I bought the wrong inverter. We can't like hardwire off of it, so we just there's literally three outlets on the inverter we can plug into and run cords off of. So I've got a long extension cord running off the inverter over the ceiling. It's the red one. Yeah, the red one over the ceiling and then over to where our kitchen area is going to be. That's got three plugs on the end. So we we will that'll be hidden. That'll be like behind the the window frame and then running into the cabinet. Um, and we'll have a, a power strip coming off of that that we will be able to get to to plug in our kitchen appliances when we need to use them. And then um, like our, coffee maker. our coffee maker, our induction plate, all that kind of stuff. Or a three in one breakfast maker. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, 
And then underneath the cabinet, our sink pump will plug in, our lights will plug in, but you won't be able to see that, so that'll be kind of nice. Um, I don't know if I showed the lights. Well, yeah, it's got the on off there, and then it's got 10 different brightness settings. Oh, it's blinding. It gets, it gets really bright for the six lights in here, nice it gets very bright, so. Yeah. A lot of people do 12 volt lights, which that's what we kind of were looking at initially. We ended up finding these. I think they're by like Movie Bear. I think was the was the brand. Um, Movie Bear. Movie Bear. I think is what it was. They were they were only like ten dollars. Yeah, they they were really cheap. Ten dollars off of you get, Amazon. You get six lights. They all plug ins on a dimmer switch already, and then they just plug. It's a regular 110 plug, um, so they have to run off the inverter too. That's no big deal. So. I was super nervous about doing the electrical once I had everything and had read diagrams over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> um, but finally, you I, were like I so intimidated it. by it, yeah. and then it like wasn't even that. It bad, wasn't right? that bad once I, I knew I had everything. I had poured over these diagrams, and I finally like, was like, "We're just gonna do it." I got the stuff here. Let's do it, and it all went together pretty slick. So there's a couple little things. I actually have to ground the inverter still. Um, which is just running a ground wire off the inverter and, and grounding it to the, the base of the vehicle, um, which I got a little spot we can do that. And then I do have to put a fuse in where the solar power runs in to the charging truck. I'm glad we're getting to, we're getting to a point now where it's um, it's just going to be a more comfortable living experience. And when we take it, we're taking the van out to Maine later this summer, um, and it'll be completely done now. So in a month and a half. In a month and a half. It'll be our first road trip with a completely finished van. Completely finished van. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I can't wait. So, yeah, that's where we're at. We uh, will keep updating you on the journey and keep you posted on all the fun things we do.